Alright, so next stop is the other side. So again, this place is very abridged, I would say, from the original. Um, there's a lot more going on here in the original game from what I remember. Um, I actually don't like it in the original game because it's it's slightly confusing uh, by comparison, and I, I'm not a big fan. Um, I ended up using a guide for a lot of it because I just got really, really lost trying to navigate this place. Um, so we have a new enemy type coming up that's really not fun to deal with, uh, which are like the plant monsters. Um, they're weak to fire, so that's why I brought the flamethrower. Problem, uh, they were also... Uh, they also have a second weakness, and you can actually get an achievement by going for the second weakness, which are the little bulbs on them. Um, if you shoot them all, then you can deal with them that way, but uh, it's a lot harder. Um, I don't think there's like a system level achievement, but there's an in-game challenge. Uh, yeah, there's basically like two sets of achievements in this game. It's, it's kind of weird, if I'm being honest. Um, again, like this has... 45 ACP rounds. This is 9mm, so um, we might have to switch to this one later on because we're gonna run out of ammo for this one pretty soon. Um, also, I, yeah, I realized saving in that last area was kind of redundant, so we're actually gonna pass on that for now. Um, so this door should be locked. So we have to approach from the other side. Um, This is honestly where we get to the point where I don't know this route very well, uh, and I'm slightly afraid. <laughs> this is a weird file, I guess. I assume that's a file. Um, I guess you'd actually get that by getting the upgraded security band as you leave. So that's kind of confusing. So yeah, we got the little plant monsters here. Um, not a fan of these. Again, you can shoot the little orange bulbs on them, or you can just flamethrower. That's honestly preferable, if you ask me. Um, here you have two sets of puzzles that are different depending on which playthrough you start with. Um, either way, you can find the solutions like written down on, you know, the environment. You know, environment clues to tell you. I like how this game does that a lot of times, instead of just giving you, like, the code, you have to just read it on, like, a door or something. So, to get the last ID card, we need to use the, um, spray to kill the giant plant overgrowth. So, B scenario. This is a confusing, uh, way to write these codes. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that should be eight. Three, one. That's how I'm reading it. That might be wrong. Okay, that is the proper way to read this. Uh, I wasn't sure if it's uh, left to right or up to down. So two, zero, four, eight. Again, I, I'm kind of cheesing this by knowing the codes and having literally a walkthrough. Um, but yeah, th those are the two uh, codes. Also, we have a Mr. X encounter. Obviously, that is not in Claire's story because Mr. X dies by this point. Um, again, there's slight continuity issues with Mr. X specifically dying in Claire's storyline before the sewers and still being alive and kicking in Leon's story by this point. Um, so now we have to do the the solution puzzle, which, you know, um, also varies, so blue, red, green, red, blue, uh, red, blue, blue, red, blue, green, Blue, red, blue, blue, red, blue, green. Uh, blue, red, green. I, that looks right visually. I don't know if it actually is. Cool. Uh, the guide is right. Um, I'm gonna need to get fast at the uh, execution of this puzzle. Um, never get around to actually, yeah, trying to go for S plus if I ever do that. 
Uh, not being able to save is stressful in that run. So we have that, but now we need to cool it, uh, which is a whole other quest. Um, my inventory is disconcertingly full, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I don't like the status of my inventory. <laughs> I'm gonna combine these to clear space. So just one item instead of two. Again, this isn't meant to be a speedrun. I'm taking my time with this. Um, I guess you could almost treat this like learning a route for um, potential future uh, S+. Plus. Oh, hi. Seems like about 20 fuel is enough. Maybe? 20 to 30, depending on the one. Still, it seems to be pretty consistent, which is good. Um, again, obviously we want to conserve ammo whenever possible. Um, there's a save room, or a storage room coming up pretty soon, but it's gonna be a pain to get to it. So you have a lower level map, we got more gunpowder, which is just hogging up an inventory slot. Um, FYI, in this next room, there's going to be a trophy sitting on the table, which has the code uh, for one of the things. Uh, we're not going to do that because, um, quite frankly, we don't need the code. Um, so this should be locked up here. This should be a safe room once we actually turn the power back on. But uh, until then, we have a bit of a problem because we have to uh, navigate this room. Uh, again, oddly enough, I find this room easier to go through in the B side. Um, just because you have the signal modulator from the get go. So it's a little, little simpler, actually. Um, I feel slightly backwards uh, that this part should be easier. Um, so yeah, we have to recalibrate it now. There we go, that should be right. Uh, and that should turn the power back on so we can get into the cooling room. Um, can I throw this away or do I still have one more room? I still have one more room, I guess. There should also be liquors coming through the ceiling over there. Um, I'm kind of walking slowly because I don't trust this room. I'm pretty sure all the zombies are alive. I realize the irony of that statement. Um, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this should be a safe room. I really hope it's a safe room. Cool, it is. Um, more fuel, perfect. Again, I forget this room exists on the A side because Claire has to go through such a roundabout way to get here that I just forget to ever check this room half the time. Um, I don't need both of these, do I? I need to equip the flash grenade going forward. Also, I discovered while trying to speedrun this, uh, or get the S rank, um, time progresses while you're saving. So I feel like you need, like, <laughs> if you were going to save a bunch, you lose like, like 10 seconds per save, which is actually kind of bad. Um, so S plus would be faster because you'd save only three times, so you'd only lose 30 seconds. I assume if you have like an SSD, it wouldn't be a problem. I do not on my PS4. Um, so yeah, liquors should descend from the ceiling at any moment now, just as a warning. There we go. Um, but because we have the signal modulator already, we can cut out the extra step and actually just come through here. Here's the trophy, I'm actually gonna leave it because, again, I know the code, I already put it in. Um, there was a trophy for reading all the messages. Uh, I haven't really been doing that this playthrough, I'll be honest. Um, Who left the freezer open? Just because I'm trying to be relatively efficient. Again, I'm not trying to speedrun it and rush through too much, but I'm not like, I don't want to, you know, meander too much. Um, again, quite frankly, I've dragged this playthrough on long enough. I would like to have it wrap up in a reasonable amount of time.
Alright, so now we have the fun part. Leaving this place. Um, because we have a, a liquor. I think two liquors. Uh, again, Miss Rex shows up at some point. Um, it's, uh, it's ugly trying to leave this place. Um, and I think that zombie will attack you if you approach it. Um, so we kind of sidestep around it. Uh, and that's generally what I do. Also, I was reading something about with the, the giant monsters in the sewer, that the actual strat to uh, deal with them is basically... Um, oh, this is a problem. Is basically to uh, just carefully like shoot at them once to get them to rise up, and then um, run past really quickly. At least that's what I recall hearing. Um, the liquors move, so that's actually good in this case. Um, don't have to worry about them. I'm gonna still walk going into this room because I don't actually know where they relocate to. Traditionally also a zombie falls from one of the upper floors to the lower floor. As a jump scare like right by here that one falls. Um, we also have one of the uh, ivy monsters. So we're just gonna take care of two birds with one stone effectively. Cool. No worries. Got through that uh, pretty efficiently. Um, there's a ton of stuff in here, but we have the last, uh, signal modulator, except we don't. Never mind. Um, there's something in here, which is why I'm, like, doing weird, like, dodging and weaving, is I just feel like there's gonna be something in here. Actually, yeah, it's warped so far, I can actually easily sidestep around it. Um, and this should take us back to the main lobby, perfect. Um, so now we have to get back to the greenhouse, but we have a lot to get through. So I'm going to save once more, uh, because I'm not bursting with confidence uh, with this. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Alright, so 23 saves. Again, this is way better than my first playthrough, but not optimal. Um, cool. We are good to go. Um... We have the flamethrower, that's fine. Uh, again, we have more of these guys to deal with uh, as we pass on through. That was, I think, the one on the ceiling a moment ago. Like, when we first came through here. Probably a waste of ammo, but I'm just trying to play a little safe here. Yeah, just wait till they stagger, because then you can easily get by them. Um, so yeah, here's where the fun begins. Um, we have to get through here with Mr. X in this storyline. Alright, so... This is going to be stressful. I have to cut through here, go up to here, and hopefully dodge as many of the monsters as they can. This one is totally still alive. Can't convince me otherwise. Um, and yeah, having Mr. X here is a nice little twist to the uh, previous uh, run through. Oh, there he is. That sound of something barging through. Also, these guys can one-hit kill you, if you're not careful. Um... So, flash grenade. And we can safely pass by. Nice. That was totally not planned. It just, I randomly thought, hey, I have a flash grenade, that'll work. Um... I don't know if he can enter the greenhouse control room, I would... Assume he can? But I'm, I'm not sure. Also, probably another one has spawned in by now. I can never tell what this door is. I should grab this file, because I always forget. Um, <laughs> because it's so off the beaten path. I'm pretty sure there's a jump scare in this room. I would not be surprised. Where's the door? 
Hmm. Okay, no jump scare. That was easy. <laughs> um, shockingly easy, I'm actually gonna be honest. And now we're basically in the home stretch. Uh, because we can uh, freely enter the other part of the lab. Gonna be honest, I'm happy with how this went. Uh, the sewer was a little dodgy, and the uh, second half of the PlayStation was kind of sketch. But um, honestly, that was a pretty smooth uh, lab. I'm very happy with this. Um, final stretch as we go to get the G virus sample. This is not taking very long. I thought this playthrough would take longer than it actually is. Um, so this one is that. Um, again, they have different codes that you have to actually manually adjust for. I don't know if they're fixed. I assume they are. Um, so I assume like speedrunners can account for which type of code they need um, on, on the fly. Like, I don't know if it is fixed. Like, I know... Um, The, uh, some passwords in this game are randomized, and I, uh, like the block puzzle in Sherry's Escape. That is totally random, and I don't particularly care for that. Um, uh, there's a trophy for doing that in, um, 60 seconds, and basically the advice is reload auto saves until you win, uh, which is fun. I'm gonna leave that. We already saw that in the other story, so I'm gonna skip that. Um, it's just gonna hawk up inventory, if I'm being honest. Got a little quarantine area. Um... It's sure it's a lot of handgun ammo for a laboratory, but I guess when you're working on a virus like this, that makes sense. Here's our next boss arena, as a little spoiler. Um... And here we are, one of the last, uh, save points, actually. Got a lot of creepy experiments. There's the sample, but first we need to clean out this lab. Um, again, I'm missing a hip pouch because I kind of skimmed through the police station for my own safety. Um, so now we have the fun task of inventory management. I don't know how effective the flamethrower is going to be. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure what the best weapons are going to be for this boss, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, we have so many items, we should be able to make something. Um, yeah, hooray, inventory management. The best part of these games. So I can easily do this. Uh, there. I'm going to do this. And... Sash that, and I'm gonna save the others and decide as we go along, because I'm not entirely sure what I should do. I'm gonna store this too. That's not gonna be super helpful for this boss, I don't think. Maybe it will. Voila! Look at our messy inventory as we go into this final boss. Uh... Save, and yeah, we're ready to go, hopefully.